Hello friends, welcome to programming knowledge. In our previous video, we saw that how to create tables and basically how to insert values in those tables. In this video, I will show you how to uh, retrieve the values from those tables. So first of all, let us see that how to retrieve values from the tables via terminal. So open terminal in your computer. Let me just make it okay. Write MySQL when you okay. provide password. Now, um, just let me show you what are the databases that we have. Um, we have data test database here okay our we are in our data test database and if you remember we have created one table called student in it let me show you here you can see stone table now we want to see uh, what are the records uh, that are present in our student table so the sql statement for that is select star from then the name of the table in our case it is student so here you can see we have roll number name and surname and the values that we have inserted in the last time now consider a case where you don't need to show the surname you only require to show roll number and name so right select now uh, specify the name of the column that you want we want roll number and name here you can see now surname is no longer uh, appearing here we have only roll number and name now you can also change the order in which they are displaying on the screen right select we want name first and then roll number Mm, that's E is missing in select query. Okay. Select name, roll number from stone. Here you can see. First it will be displaying name and then roll number. And as I saw you earlier, if we want all the columns to be displayed, then simply select start from student. So now let us see. Let's open our GUI workbench. Here we have a database called data test and in which we have created a table student and it has three columns, roll number, name and surname. Now if we want to display the roll number only, then just right click on it and click on the select rows and you can see the roll number is displaying here and the query which runs on the background is select roll number from data test dot student now 
uh, as I mentioned earlier you can write multiple columns name here select roll number name from student here you can see a roll number and name you can write in any order select name then I want surname and then I want roll number here name surname and roll number now we want every column to be displayed then simply that select star from student here you can see whenever here uh, you can observe one thing that whenever you uh, write star instead of specifying each column name then the table uh, will appear in the same order in which we have defined uh, in our creation time roll number first then name and then surname so if you want to change the order then you have to specify the column name manually here now there is one more thing that i want to show you is that you can also perform normal arithmetic operation using the select statement i'll show you if you want to perform addition of two numbers then write select 1 plus 3 suppose from here you can provide a dummy name we provide dual here and execute you can see 1 plus 3 4 now not only this you can write a much complex equation here like into 5 plus 2 into 3 divided by 2 let's say here you can also perform modulus right 5 modulus 2 from dual yeah, you can see it will uh, give us the remainder and if you if you don't want to write table name then it's fine you can also write like this and we also give it the same output okay so thanks for watching